What's up, YouTube? This is Justin, a.k.a. Liminator, and welcome back to the channel. Uh, I know it's been a while since I've uploaded a team of my own. I've been playing a lot of, you know, rental teams here and there. Uh, but I have been working on, you know, basically a team on Showdown and just really testing this team out. Uh, because, as everyone knows, the Player Cup 3 is coming up tomorrow, actually. Wow, it is coming up quick. So, uh, yeah, I was testing this team out. I really wanted to use the Hatterini and Didi combo uh, for the Player's Cup. So, you know, been testing it a lot on Showdown and... Here it is on the Switch. So, uh, on the top, basically see the main, you know, heart and soul of this team, the Ndidi Hatterini. Uh, I did give the Ndidi Focus Sash, uh, by the way, uh, really to be able to survive those hits from Urshifu. Uh, Urshifu is a huge threat and can Oko it with those Wicked Blows. Um, but, you know, Focus Sash gives it uh, the ability to eat up a hit, maybe eat up another hit of, a, of another Pokemon, um, and... Uh, yeah, I think overall was a lot better choice than the Psychic Seeds. Uh, Hatterini, still the same, um, you know, kind of set that I was using in previous videos, but I did add Mystical Fire rather than Protect. I did want to give it some coverage, and, you know, I would say 70% of the time I'm going to be maxing it anyways, uh, so that Trick Room can turn into Max Guard, so if I need to guard, it's right there. But as soon as I get Trick Room up, I want to take advantage of those Trick Room turns as much as possible and so I don't want to be protecting myself that much and just really dealing a, a massive amounts of damage uh, that was kind of the main idea of switching that out plus I needed a fire coverage move uh, below that I do have Metagross another Pokemon that can kind of take advantage of Trick Room uh, it's in that middle kind of weird tier uh, speed tier um, but uh, you know, it can kind of take advantage of Trick Room, but also, you know, if we're facing up against Glastriers, obviously, you know, don't want Trick Room up. Uh, but yeah, that's the Metagross set. Gave it the weakness policy just to kind of prevent folks from trying to deal super effective damage. Uh, and also, you know, since it is a best of one, if people do end up get adding uh, super, uh, super effective damage, you know, I can hit them huge, huge damage, amounts of damage afterwards with that weakness policy. Uh, the Zapdos right next to it, uh, again, Zapdos is one that I used prior and um, thought it was a fun Pokemon. Has great natural bulk at 90 uh, with special defense and defense, so, you know, wanted to give it the Assault Vest to give it a little bit of extra special defense. Uh, and it has some pretty good speed with it at 100. Um, you know, 100 is not great by any means, but it is good, obviously. Um, and, you know, it has a, a good amount of coverage moves over there with Blaze Kick and Throat Chop. Uh, underneath it, I have our good friend Rillaboom. Uh, Rillaboom is a Pokemon that is going to be seeing a lot of usage, especially with a lot of Tapu Finis running around. Uh, it's one of those Pokemon that, you know, I don't really have to think about. If I see a water Pokemon, click that Grassy Glide, boom, you know, one hit KOs a lot, a lot, a lot of the water types running around in the meta. And Rotom, uh, right next to it, is actually a Pokemon that I kind of swapped out last minute. Uh, I was using Incineroar pr uh, previously in that slot, uh, really to deal with Intimidate um, and Snarls and stuff like that, and you know just pestering the oppo uh, opposing Pokemon. But I uh, realized I already had some fire coverage with Blaze Kick and Mystical Fire, uh, and I was a little bit weak to Rotom Heat. I was actually a lot a bit weak to Rotom Heat prior to this uh, switch, so I did want to bring a Rotom of my own and just kind of uh, see where I can take that. Um, uh, you know, Rotom. As we know, the Hydro Pump is not the most consistent uh, when it is not Dynamax, but uh, if I can set it up, you know, next to Ndidi, I can set up that Nasty Plot, Dynamax it, and just deal massive amounts of damage, and might even be able to sweep uh, some games with that Rotom and catch people off guard if they're expecting the Hatterini. So, um, there's the team. Uh, you know, again, Players' Cup 3 is coming up. Uh, tomorrow, I guess the qualifying rounds is coming up tomorrow, so uh, I'm going to be taking this team out and uh, might make some last minute changes, but uh, again, thank you for your patience, everybody. Um, you know, I've been very busy with work, very busy with other things going on, uh, and also, you know, just been kind of using this time to test this team on Showdown and uh, really just try to get all the kinks out, you know, before the, before the uh, tournament uh, starts. So, here's the team. Uh, I am going to be... Uh, doing some battles on the ranked double ladder right now. Um, and uh, let's see how it goes. All right, we're battling Efrain forever. And this is not a fun team because we know first and foremost that this is probably not gonna be seen uh, at the Players' Cup rounds. But it's good practice either way. Uh, Efrain forever, we have a wall rain. 
Um, that's pretty cool. I mean, it's a, you know, obviously we got the wire, uh, water, fire, grass combo with, F, uh, with wall rain, incineroar, rillaboom. Uh, hmm. And I know we're going to be seeing a lot of that, you know, that kind of core, the rillaboom, incineroar, uh, finny core, you know, a lot. So how do I want to deal with this? Uh, the Clefairy is kind of a problem here. Um, but I guess if I can set up Trick Room, hmm. I think what I'm gonna do now is Walrein a special attacker. Let me let me double check this. I don't see this Pokemon all that often, so um, let me double check. And I'm running out of time. I gotta hurry. I am. I gotta hurry. 24 seconds. Internet problems. Uh, looks like it can be either. Um, hmm. Okay. So here's what I want to do. I want to bring out the Ndidi Hatter any cord. And in the back, I think I'm going to put uh, uh, Metagross and Zapdos, I think, is the, is the, is the play. Um, if I can time that Incineroar coming out with the Zapdos, it's a really good check. I mean, Zapdos is a great check to Incineroar, actually. Uh, it has the, the fighting coverage moves um, with Stab, can get the Defiant off. So here we go. We got some uh, cool poison type shirt here, and we got ourselves a Zapdos Walrein lead. Okay, so I'm not completely mad at that. Um, let me check Walrein speed, 65. Okay, so it's gonna be slower than my Metagross. Hmm, so do I even want to Trick Room here? Or do I wanna just tee off? Let's see here. No, I still wanna tee, I, I still wanna Trick Room. Yeah, I still want a Trick Room here. So I'm going to follow me Trick Room. Uh, I think that's a pretty easy turn. And then we'll start getting rid of that Wall Ring afterwards. Also, the follow me can, can help out with um, any super effective. So here we go. Thunderbolt comes out. Yeah, any, uh, sorry. Any self-proccing on that Wall Ring. Ooh, Belly Drum. Ooh, I let it set up. Okay. Okay, so that's not good at all. And he eats the berry. Well, let's see, can I survive a hit, is the question. Probably not. Um, the other question is, how do I get rid of that? How do I get rid of it? So, I think I'm gonna helping hand into Smite. And hopefully the confusion can make it hit itself. Withdraw Zapdos, we'll see what happens. Rillaboom comes out, that's fine. Completely fine by me. Uh, as long as I can deal some, some massive amounts of damage, I think I'm okay. I think I'm okay. So, because uh, Rillaboom isn't scary to Zapdos in the back. Uh, what is it scary to? Yeah, it's not actually scary to anything that I brought. So, let's see what happens here. Big ol' hat, I love this thing. It's like a little... Fairy. <laughs> and then when it Dynamaxes, it's kind of like those aliens from Men in Black with the like alien in the inside of the human face. Like that's what I imagine, right? Um, we'll see it again when it when it pans back to me. But big old wall rain, belly drum. Belly drum is scary. Uh, yeah. Previous iterations of this team, I had a dust clops and I made it a hard trick room team. Um, but you know. Ended up not being the case. I also had Giga Drain on that thing earlier, so. Here comes big ol' Wall Rain. Ooh! Ooh! Ugh, okay. That's fine. At least it gets confused, so it has to deal with that. Um, it might just take me out, to be honest. It might just take me out. I hope not. Steel Spike. Yikes. Okay, that's definitely taking me out. Okay. I'm cool with that. I am cool with that. So, uh, hmm. The problem is he's gonna fake out whatever comes out, right? So, I think I double protect here. Right? He's gonna try to fake me out. At least the wall rain is, um, pretty hurt. 
pretty hurt, so... Belly drum. Yeah, I, I also have a feeling that we're going to be seeing a lot of, like, cheese <laughs> uh, coming out, so... Um, the good thing is that my Ndidi is negative speed. Uh, I for sure needed the um, Psychic Surge off, and, you know, I didn't want to leave it up to speed ties. Uh, they have this, I think, Ndidi and Rillaboom have the same base speed, uh, if I'm not mistaken... Uh, it also has the same base speed as some other things, so... Here comes a double protect. I should have just doubled into the wall rain. I was, I was thinking a, um... Smack? Max guard, okay. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Because what I'm doing is I'm eating up the, the Dynamax turns, right? So, hmm. Yeah, I think I just double into it? No. How many turns of Trick Room left? That's the problem. I shouldn't have just I should have just not set up Trick Room. Hmm. Okay. So I'm doubling into that. For sure. I'm doubling into that. Expanding force. Oh, and I go first. Beautiful. That's. The, I guess that's the the joy of negative speed, right? Uh, should have just ice punched that thing. But that thing could be weakness policy. Iron head comes out. Give me the flinch. Give me the flinch. Give me the flinch. Give me the flinch. Not very effective. Oh, that's not gonna be good. Yikes. Flinched at least. So that's cool. Um, so now, I guess any amounts of damage onto the, um, Zapdos would be good here. Because again, I'm not that scared of Rillaboom. So let's deal some damage to Zapdos. Let's get that Ice Punch off too. Yeah. I like the little Russian hat and plaid pants that I got that I'm wearing. I was wearing a suit for so long and like that slick back hair that I forgot what it looks like to have drip. Like this man over here. Like Efrain forever over here. <laughs> okay, here we go. Fake out comes out. That's okay. That's expected. And here comes the ice punch. Ba -ra! And takes it out. Beautiful. Okay. So now we're in a 3v2. Uh, Ndidi flinched, but that's okay. I'm taking health back. Twisted Dimensions go back to normal. Okay, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. So, ooh, Nitto Queen comes out. Yikes. Okay. Uh, so that's a follow me Ice Punch turn. Right? Or is it a Stomping Tantrum turn? I mean, either one, they're both 75, right? It could protect. It could protect here. Um, I might want to scout something out here then. Protect? Double protect? No. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go Stomping Tantrum into the Nidoqueen. Queen. As long as it doesn't protect, I should be fine. Protect. Ah, oh, Jesus. I should have double protect. Okay, well, there's nothing I can really do about that. Well played by my opponent. Grassy Glide comes out, and... Ooh. Okay. Not bad. Not bad at all. So here's what I can do now. I can protect and go into my Zapdos. Because I have a feeling he's gonna wanna he's gonna wanna hit that ground move, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a good play. I think that's a great play actually. Protect. And Needle Queen uses protect again. Wow. Okay. 
I'm fine with that. Grassy Glide comes off, protect. He really wants wants that thing gone. So now, now what? Now I switch into here, and I thunderous kick this thing. No, I brave bird that thing. Because again, the Rillaboom isn't that scary to me at all. Especially with Ndidi out, once I get Ndidi out. So here comes the Metagross. I guess the thing that I'm going against is the Paralyze, right? But Brave Bird comes out, that should take it out, I want to say. It should not, no, okay. That's fine. Ice Beam eats. Grassy Glide into the... Beautiful, beautiful. I'm eating. I am eating. So from here, I'm gonna ice punch this thing. And just in case that protects. I haven't seen Rillaboom protect yet. I have a feeling Nidoqueen Queen is gonna Oh, and the battle is canceled. That is beautiful. Okay. I think there was a way out for Efrain, but uh I guess Efrain decided not to to do it. So we'll take the battle. Game and we're gonna go against a <laughs> another Hatterini. Uh Juan brought the sand. Okay. So, huh. <laughs> How do I want to do this? I mean, he has a couple of things similar to mine, right? Uh, steals, not bad. So if I can get Trick Room up, I think we're, we're, we're pretty good if I can get Trick Room up. I think that's great. Uh, you know, that position to be in. So... Yeah, he might lead Sand, he might lead Trick Room. That's the cool thing about these, these um, you know, these kind of, like, Sand Room teams or Sun Room teams is, like, you never know what they're going to lead with, which is very cool. Uh, I thought about bringing my own with, like, the Venus or Torkoal, but I was like, nah, I want to have fun with this game. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was like, nah, nah. So, anyways, as long as Sand's not up, I should be fine with the Zapdos coming out. And then, um, Rillaboom, for sure. Rillaboom, for sure, in this one. Looks good. Uh, yeah. The other thing I could have done is I could have just, like, not brought my speed control at all. Uh, and just kind of went with it and saw what happened. But, let's see if Exit. let's see if they lead Exadrill T-Tar. Amoongus Hatterini. Okay, so then I might have been better off with... No. Okay, so here comes the Psychic Surge. I'll let that guy set up Trick Room. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. So, what I want to do is I want to protect my own Ndidi. And I want to Mindstorm into... Mindstorm into the Amoongus. Yeah. Here comes my Dynamax. We might see the Trick Room come out, but that's okay. Uh, I think what he's going to try to do is going to try to Spore me. Um, which is quite annoying. I will admit that. Sporing is quite annoying, but it is what it is. He can't Spore my Hatterini. Magic Bounce. Uh, Indeedy uses Protect. Let's see what... Sludge Bomb comes out. Huh? That's fine. Poison. That's not fine. Hatterini, Dazzling Gleam. Oh, yikes. Okay. I played that one really wrong. <laughs> well... At least the, uh, the Amoongus is going down. So that's one gone. That's one gone. The poison, man, that hurts. That hurts. Did not expect that at all.
So we'll see what they bring. Let's see what Juan takes out. I think it might be the Exadrill. The T-Tar, okay. And the Exadrill is coming out. Okay. So, um, good thing about this is that I can confuse him, right? So, I think I'm going to Helping Hand... Because he's just going to Rock Slide, right? Helping Hand Smite. And just nuke that thing. I think the T-Tar maybe protects. Lash out into the... Indeedy. Okay. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. Now let me go first. Dazzling Gleam comes out. He's not going to go first. So that's fine with me. That's fine with me. Uh, Smite comes out. Boom. Get, get gone. Get out of here. Get gone. So now you're confused. And buffeted by the Sandstorm, which I'm fine with. Am I? Yikes. That's gonna that's gonna take me out next turn anyway. So let's see what I can do here. And here comes the exit drill. So I want to thunderous kick that thing. And I want to I wanna try to change the weather actually. Let's see if he lets me. I think he's just gonna rock slide. Um, but I definitely don't want the sand up because then I am faster than Exadrill, I think. Exadrill has a base speed of like 80 something, if I'm not mistaken. So let's see what happens. We're gonna see a Dynamax here. It might be the T-Tar, probably will be the T-Tar actually. Yeah, this is the T-Tar, okay. Um, well, if I can change up the weather here. See what Exadrill does. Exadrill use Iron Head. I could have protected that, actually. Huh. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. Give me the big old kick. Boom! And it's sashed. Of course it would be sashed. Of course it would be sashed. Confuse, hit yourself, smack yourself, please. No, okay, that's fine. I mean, it's not super effective, right? Shouldn't do a lot of damage, I don't think it, ooh, that takes me out? Wow, okay, well then that's game. That's game right there, maybe. So, that's a fake out. Is it a fake out? It's not a fake out, because, yeah, I'm gonna scout and see what this guy does. I think he protects. I think he protects the Exadrill. You have to protect the Exadrill. In a 1v1, Rillaboom beats Tyranitar. But we're not playing 1v1. Yeah, Exadrill uses Protect. I just don't want to proc the weakness policy, you know? Smack yourself. Smack yourself. There you go. You dumb old thing. Confusion could save me here. That confusion now. Here comes the grassy glide into the Exadrill. Get rid of that thing. He might try to double protect. Uh, I don't know why he would. 
Yeah, there's no reason to. Exadrill gone. Let's see how much damage this does. Snapped out of its confusion. Rockfall. Should not do a ton of damage. I mean, it'll do... Uh, yeah, I eat, but not very comfortably. So here's the problem now, is that a Grassy Glide does not... Uh, does not Oko that, I don't think. Unless it's max speed. Um, let's see, how much? How many turns of sand left? One turn of sand left. So I can protect, the sandstorm will end, and I will get a little bit of life back. Uh, I don't think it's gonna matter though. So here comes the protect. Lash out comes out. That's fine. Sandstorm subsides. I get the grass. So let's see. Can I Oko a T-Tar? Under grassy terrain, max adamant attack with a miracle seed. And, oh, the invisible set. Wait, what? Wow, that is quite annoying. That is annoying. That is annoying. Wow. The invisible sash to activate the weakness policy. <laughs> to lose to Juan. What a game. I was like, wait a minute. Didn't Exedrill have the sash? So, hmm. We're going up against a Korean player here with a Reggie Drago team. So this should be fun. <laughs> this should be lots and lots and lots of fun. Uh, hmm. How do I want to do this? So the Urshifu can lead. I could make a big brain play here and uh, bring out Zapdos, Rillaboom, because a lot of times when they see Ndidi Hatterini, they bring out Urshifu, right? Um, and then I guess the Tornadus could come out as well, which could be scary. But, yeah. So I'm going to bring that out. Um, I have Blaze Kick to help me out. So the Reggie Drago I'm going to deal with by getting Ndidi Hatterini. And I think that's the play. So, I think that's the play here. Man, that last battle, the Invisible Sash to activate weakness policy. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, I mean, I guess they must have, like, EV'd it to be able to take a hit, right? That's the only explanation. So. Anyways, here we go. Here comes the Korean player. The unknown Korean player who's wearing gold. Urshifu and Kartana. Okay, Urshifu and Kartana. I'm not mad at that at all. So... Yeah, Kartana's just not a great matchup against um, against Zapdos. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna airstream that, and no, do I want to airstream it or do I just want to get rid of it? Let's. Let's airstream it, yeah, because that thing is naturally faster. That thing is naturally faster. So I'm going to fake out the Urshifu, airstream into the uh, Kartana. Withdraws Urshifu, it's fine by me. He wants speed. What? Okay. I'm 100% fine with that. <laughs> uh, I don't know if he remembers that I have a Defiant Pokemon on the field. And I Dynamax first anyway, so whether or not this guy... Yeah, that was, very, that was a very interesting play by my opponent. Maybe he forgot about Defiant, which is kind of the cool thing about playing Pokemon that are not very, very uh, common in the meta. I mean, you do see Zapdos sometimes, but normally you see the Kanto Zapdos. Uh, you don't normally see the Valerian Zapdos. 
So people forget that it's defiant. So let's see if I can tank a hit. I don't know, because that thing looks pretty strong. I mean, but also let's see if that can tank a hit, right? So anyways, here comes the fake out. Clap, he goes. Crit, <laughs> I crit the clap, which is kind of cool. Airstream comes out, and can I take this thing out? I cannot take this thing out, but that's fine. I'm still airstreamed. And he's going to take out mine. Yeah, airstream into me. Yikes. Okay, which I'm fine with. Uh, Cause now that thing is dead, right? That thing is dead. Because now what I do is I bring out my Ndidi. And if he tries to Will-O-Wisp or any type of crazy stuff, he's gonna have a problem here. Here comes out the Ndidi. Change up the terrain here. Brings out the Psychic Surge. Yeah, the only thing I'm scared of is Will-O-Wisp, and, and I have seen uh, Incineroar run Will-O-Wisps. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to not Flare. Yeah, definitely not Flare. I want to knuckle into that thing. Hold up, hold up. Wait a minute now. Nah, I want to Flare. I want to flare into that thing. And then I want to follow me. Yeah, I could protect too. Because um, I don't think I don't think Cartana's tech, uh, typically run protect. If it does, good for them. Yeah, here comes the flare. That's gone. Now the thing is, I am boosting the sun, right? Um, which could not be, which could be a bad thing. Sunlight becomes harsh. It's gone. I just didn't want to... Uh, I didn't want to run any risks, you know? So, anyways. Parting shot. That's fine. I'm fine with that. Because you have to bring that in at some point, right? And... Tornadus? Tornadus? Show me Tornadus? Urshifu back. Okay. And let's see what else comes out. The Urshifu it has to be the last Pokemon. There's no way he wants to, def to give me that second Defiant boost. I Okay, I'm fine with that. Uh, yeah, at this point I just... Huh. So at this point, I just Airstream into the Urshifu and I... None of these work. I guess that's the problem. I mean, in case he swaps out, right? In case he swaps out, but we'll see. <laughs> um, yeah, there's not much else I can do because the airstream is going to take it out. No sash. We don't see the sash there. So we're going to see whatever is last coming in, and um, I'm not sure what that Incineroar was trying to do. Because now I'm at plus two because of it. Expanding Force comes out, does not do anything. He's going to Flare Blitz into me. Oh, that does a lot. A lot. Okay, I I I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that, because his Dynamax is gone. So is mine. We have the, the, the Fire Up, uh, which is not the best it's not the ideal situation, but, you know, things could be worse, right? Let's see what they bring out. The Drago. The Reggie Drago. Okay. So I don't have to... I can ignore that. I can ignore that. 100%. Uh, because I have a... I have a Hatterini in the back. So, Yeah. So here we go. We're in a very, very favorable position here uh, where I can just thunderous kick that thing. Just blaka blaka 
At plus two, that definitely should take it out. I don't care how bulky you are. Protect, yeah. And that's game. Good game to my opponent. Unless you run protect, that's game. Yeah, I don't know what he was doing with the um, with the Incineroar, but I guess, you know, that's the great thing about having a Zapdos, or just a Defiant user in general, is like, you're... I mean, we're gonna see Intimidate in this in this uh, in this game, so you know it's it's not like uh, a helping hand should should do the trick. Um, yeah, we're gonna see Intimidate here uh, in this game, you know, one way or another. So it's kind of like you know, Defiant really stops that and gone. So great set of games here. Uh, we go two and one, but um, you know that that uh, game prior was pretty close with the uh, with the Pokemon holding on to the Sash, the Titar holding on. So, so there you have it. That's the team, folks. Uh, this is the team that I'm going to be bringing to Players Cup. Uh, I'm also going to be you know uploading a couple of my uh, my runs on the Players Cup, um, and you know I might end up switching out you know that Rotom last minute. I might end up making a couple uh, tweaks here and there, but this is, I'm pretty set on this team. I really do like the, the synergy that all these Pokemon have. Um, you know, it's not like classic synergy in the, in the sense of like, you know, for example, uh, Torkoal Venusaur, but synergy in the sense that they cover a lot of the weaknesses. Uh, they can tank a lot of hits. They are fairly bulky and they can deal quite a bit of damage back. So um, again, this is the team. Uh, everyone, you're more than welcome to try it out. The rental code's right there. I'm also going to be uploading the Poke Pace. Uh, if you guys see this video and you do have any last minute suggestions for me, I'd love to hear it in the comment section. Please share your thoughts. Uh, I do want to, you know, obviously do well and qualify for that next round. Uh, this is going to be my first like big, big tournament. So uh, we'll see how I actually do, but uh, I am excited. I hope you guys are excited too. And, uh, you know, let's see how this thing goes. And, um, uh, yeah, I do have some fun content for you guys afterwards. Uh, I found uh, a team uh, on Discord that is Ash's team uh, from the anime with like Dracovish, uh, Lucario, Pikachu, uh, and you know asked the guy, asked the creator of that team if I could borrow it. He said, "Yeah, definitely, I could use it after the um, after the Players Cup is over." So have some fun stuff, and then I think I'm going to also be going back into. Um, you know, going back into my own fun little team creations as well. Uh, but again, thanks for bearing with me as it was a little bit slow this past couple of weeks. Uh, did want to really, you know, lock down this team and just kind of uh, get all the kinks out. Um, so, but anyways, that's the team. Uh, feel free to try it out again and uh, we'll see you in the next episode. And the next episode should be some of my Players' Cup battles. So, we'll see you guys. Thanks.